This video is about the ratio test. The ratio test is a useful test for verifying whether or not a given series is convergent or divergent. Specifically, here's what the test says and how to use it. So let's suppose that we have this infinite series. That's a summation n equals 1 to infinity, all those elements a n. We'll be looking at the ratio of two consecutive elements, a n plus 1 and a n. Take the absolute value of this quantity and then take the limit of this when n goes to infinity. And let's suppose that this limit exists as a real number or it's equal to infinity. So potentially it could be anything between 0 and infinity. And then the ratio test says that when the limit of this quantity is less than 1, so that's the case when the limit is in this interval, when the limit of this quantity is less than 1, then this series is absolutely convergent, and therefore it's convergent. On the other hand, when the limit of this quantity is bigger than 1, potentially could be equal infinity, that's the case now, then this series is divergent. And finally, when the limit of this quantity is equal to 1, anything could happen. The series might be convergent or divergent, so in this case, the test is inconclusive. It doesn't provide you with any information. Okay, so here's an example. We'll be testing this series for absolute convergence using the ratio test. So let's call this element a n. This is going to be a n, and we'll be looking at the ratio of between those two elements, a n plus 1 and a n. Now, the absolute values function is not needed here because all those elements are positive. So this is a n plus 1. This is n, and to divide this fraction by that one is to take the top and multiply by the reciprocant on the bottom. So now when we expand this out, we get that this is equal to this times this, and now we have the cancellation. The two n's cancel, and the n factorials cancel as well, and we're left with the 2 divided by n plus 1. The limit of this quantity, when n goes to infinity, is 0, and so this is less than 1, so that by the ratio test, this series is absolutely convergent, and so it's convergent. So here's another example. We'll use the ratio test, and we'll show that this series is divergent. So let's say that this is my element a n, and as before, we'll be looking at the ratio between a n plus 1 and a n. We don't need the absolute value function because those elements are positive. This is a n plus 1. This is a n. To divide this fraction by that one is to take the top and multiply by the reciprocal on the bottom. Now, this is equal to that times this. Now we can cancel the n factorials, and we can cancel the n plus 1s. That will give me n plus 1 to the n divided by n to the n. That's the same as 1 plus 1 over n to the n. And we know that the limit of this quantity when n goes to infinity is equal to e. That's the constant that's about 2.7. So it's bigger than 1, so it means that this series is divergent. Now the ratio test is inconclusive when the limit of this quantity is equal to 1. For example, we know that the harmonic series diverges to infinity. On the other hand, um, the alternating harmonic series converges and converges to um, log of 2. But for both those series, when we look at the quantity n plus 1 and a n, we get that the limit of this quantity is equal to 1. So indeed, in this case, this series is inconclusive. The test doesn't provide you any information in the case when the limit of this quantity is equal to 1. Here is a couple of examples when the ratio test is useful and can be applied to. For example, whenever we have an expression like constant to the n, like in this example, or whenever the factorial is somehow involved in the summation, then usually the ratio test will be useful and helpful.